Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So till now in JMeter we have seen that how can we go ahead and add certain steps. We have seen how to create a thread group and then how to add the HTTP request. And with that, how to see our results, right? And how to do an assertion. So till now, these are the steps which we have done. But uh, right now, if you see an HTTP request, we are just hitting one URL. Okay, but it might possible when you are doing a performance testing of your website, it is not just hitting a URL, but to perform a particular flow. And in that you have to see that the performance of your website is working fine or not. So for that uh, test, uh, this JMeter provide us that we can even record the steps and flow on the website and uh, we can see all the recorded steps in JMeter. So how we do that? So a different ways to do that. One of the best way which I like, there are different plugins through which we can uh, go ahead and record the steps. So there is one plugin which is called BlazeMeter. Okay, so if you go here on Google and you can just type place meter and let's just give Chrome extension. Okay, when you hit on enter, it will give you the website of the extension for the Chrome. And once you click on that, you know, it will give an option to add on the Chrome. I have already added it, so it's giving me remove from the Chrome. But I will keep it because uh, I want to use that. And now if you see here at the top right hand side, there is an option here, right, for the blaze meter from which you can record your scripts. Okay, so let's do that. What I will do, let's say I am clicking on this start recording. And after that, first I will open this website. Okay, so once this website gets open, I want to click on this contact. Okay, and in this contact, let's say this is the name I want to give, right, and this is the email, so I will give any email here xxx at gmail.com and any comments I need to give and then I need to click submit. Okay, so this is the entire flow which I need to check with my JMeter. Now if you see here, it is trying to record the steps. It says waiting for the content and once I am done, I can just click on stop button. Okay, and if I click on this button again, then you will see that it has already recorded it I can give any name here I can give name as my website test all right and here you will see the save option I can click on this three dots and it will ask me that which is the format you want to save so I want to save in the GA meter format okay J meters GMX and I will click on the save button and it will ask me the domain so I will give wordpress.com to the domain and I will click on save. So it will try to export my all the steps into the JMX file. The JMX file is something which I can easily import into my JMeter. So you will see that here is my JMX file. So let me open that. Or maybe I can click on show in folder because there is an extension like this. Okay. So let me just click on show in folder first. And uh, this is the file. So I will just copy this. Okay. And I can just place it somewhere. Maybe I can place it on the desktop. Okay. And uh, this is my JMeter which is open. I will go to file. Go to open. On desktop, this is the one which I have recorded just now. If I click on open, it will tell me that for the current project, let me click on no. So yes, so see, this is now has been open. Okay, so this is the way it has recorded everything. If you see here, there's a thread group. Okay, it's one user and ramp up time one period and it will just uh, loop count is one. Okay, and in that there is a test controller which has been added. There is also the steps, the different HTTP requests. So it is a base URL. You will see that the base URL is given into this IP. And then there are different steps. I have gone to the contact and then you have, I have posted. So the, all the information which I have posted are coming under the method post. See, these all steps have been recorded by the blaze meter extension. Okay. See, these are things which I have given like my contact form ID, email, comments, action and all those things so everything is there here correct and in the end you know it has uh, you know we are getting the information so the website which we got the end 
so this is the get operation so everything is under post and get if you see right because in server and client everything happens as a get call or as a post call so everything has been recorded and before this thread group you will also notice there are few more things which has been added for example the http header manager user defined variables like the base uri which has we are using in our script so this is a standard way to write a jmeter program so this extension has written some standard way to write the jmeter program then there's a cookie manager http cache manager to use the cookie to make it faster and all those things there's an authorized manager also so in, let's say if i need to put the id and password i can use this authorized manager so the blaze meter extension has done it for me okay so this is the way we can write the performance testing of any particular flow on our website and after that what is the thing remaining is to do assertion and uh, just to see the results so you know for that what we need to do we have to go to you know do a right click click on add and then we can you know click on sampler okay so okay so let's do one thing let's add just assertions row and just listeners now because everything has been done like all the samplers has already been added okay so if you go to assertions there are different assertions which we can give so we can give html assertion or duration assertion which we have given before right and if you want listener also we can add listeners also so we can give view result tree and let's add one more which is the most common one so one listener would be in table okay so now let's go ahead and try to uh, run this and let's see what is the result and maybe we can just increase the number of users let's give it three users okay so now let's see so now it is running let's see in three all right so you can see that you know it has started to execute that right you can see in three also everything is pass 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 everything is okay all right we are getting a response data correct and if i want for example if you see here that the sample time is 5178 milliseconds so let's assume i don't want that anything to be greater than 5000 i want every request will not take more than 5000 okay so it will be passed if it is more than 5000 it is failed so what i will do i will just go ahead do a right click add and then i will do an assertion and here i can give the assertion of duration assertion okay and i can give here 5000 milliseconds all right now let's try to run it again let me remove all the previous results okay now run it again all right now let's see so this is 4000 it is passed it is more than 4000 it is fail all right so you will see that fail here okay You can see that right so it is failing here so this is a way we can first record our uh, scripts through the through the plugins and extension and then we can use the same into our jmeter i think that's it for all i hope you will you have liked this video thank you